The Mike Cattrall College of Business has definitely prepared me for my career. My classes don't just have tests, we have projects, we have group projects, and we have to learn how to function as an individual and adapt to everybody's personality and still get the job done while still learning and then presenting and having tests on top of everything. We really emphasize getting the student excited and engaged in what's happening in the classroom. It just creates more discussion and, and the good news is I learn from the students as much as they learn from me. Our shared collective vision, I hope, is to offer relevant and rigorous business programs that change lives. And we want to change the lives of our students uh, and the communities in which they live. They're trying to teach the students to be lifelong learners. And I think that the biggest thing that I've learned is that I don't know everything. The most important lesson I think I've learned is that you have to be humble in that regard. And even now, after all these years in business, I'm still learning every day. And I, I think that can be very powerful because it will impress upon a student that it's not over when they get started and they have a role in making sure that they, that they continue to be that leader. I would say the, the greatest asset of the Mike Cottrell College of Business is its people. And I don't mean by that just by administrators and faculty, but also the students. The students come and they really want to learn. The faculty is very dedicated in helping the students reach their full potential. The classes are they're based on everyday life situations and that's what students really look for when they're learning something is if it really helps them for the future and you know there's so many opportunities at this school to be involved and have fun with and meet new people and have friendships and things like that so it's not just about you know the learning it also helps you learn to grow and mature. If we present them with facts, information, and theories they may remember them. If we get them involved they'll retain them. We are a large school now. We're, um, we have about 3,000 students, but we still have a very small school feel. The classrooms are still small, and that's what sets us apart from the bigger schools is because we have those relationships with our professors, and that develops the students more. It prepares them more. You can get ask those professors, how was your experience? What should I do? How can I do this here? Instead of having a classroom with 150 students, you have a classroom of 30, and your professor knows each one of you by name. You're not just a number. The classes at the College of Business here prepared me for my internship. The communications skills I learned from group projects and present presentations and things like that in class definitely helped. It's really interesting to see the principles that I learned in my management and marketing classes being applied in the real business world. That's a great experience through the internship. I feel like it helps me to understand how the businesses work to have that educational background. I see my colleagues light up. They can talk for hours about the kinds of things they're trying to do in the classroom and they're really interested in making and maintaining that connection with students so that students can then improve and surpass these challenges and really be ready for the workplace. And then on the other hand, when I see students talk about the faculty that they really connect with, it's the same thing. They're just as energetic, they're just as motivated, they're just as excited. And so there really is a special relationship between the faculty and the students here. It's always been a very good, very good, solid business school. Uh, but with Mike Cottrell's involvement, you know, he decided that uh, he would like the college to make sure that it continues to elevate its status uh, so that it is uh, on, on the cutting edge of business education. The college has taken hold of that. If we do a good job in education is to look beyond just the laundry list and we look beyond the chapter 14s and we say what do people really truly need to be able to be productive and to be able to live good lives and to add to the quality of life in not just the community in which they live but communities all over the world.